Hey Hakaishians, is everything alright? Here is Max. In Dragon Ball there are several races that are very strong. We have, for example, the Saiyans, who have an almost infinite capacity for evolution. There are the Namekians too, who in addition to being strong, also possess many natural abilities, a great magical powers, and the ability to merge and drastically increase their powers. We also have the divine races, such as the Shinjins, the race from the Kaishans, and Makaishans came. For you to have an idea of the powers of this race, only a Kaishan has enough power to beat Frieza back in the time of the Namek Saga with a single blow, and at that time Frieza was considered a sovereign among mortals, someone invincible. Anyway, I think you can already understand that in Dragon Ball there are extremely powerful races, but above all the mortal and divine races there is the angel race, which at the moment is the most powerful race in the entire franchise as far as we know. The power of this race is so great that it is almost impossible to imagine these beings losing a fight. But are angels really invincible? With that in mind, in this video I have listed 6 ways an angel can be defeated. That's right, 6 ways to beat an angel, so if you want to know all that ways, don't waste any time and subscribe on the channel. If you do that, you will always see videos like this, with many curiosities and creativity. But so, let's see what are the 6 ways to beat an angel. So stay connected to the channel and let's get to the video. First form, force an angel to fight. We know that angels are incredibly strong beings, and it's impossible to imagine anyone forcing them to use all their power. Broly, who was giving Goku, Frieza and Vegeta a beating, couldn't even touch in wise clothes. That is, an angel is far above any warrior showed in the series so far. So it's practically impossible for someone to force an angel to fight and use their full power. However, we ended up seeing this happen in the Moro arc, when Miris, an apprentice angel, used some of his power to fight Moro, and as a consequence he ended up being temporarily erased, as the law of angels doesn't allow them to do that. So let's say a warrior wants to defeat an angel, all he would need to do is press that angel until he starts to use a little more of his powers, and then that angel would be erased and consequently lose the fight. But this this is not easy because, as I said, not even Broly, who is extremely powerful, was able to do that. Second form killing the Kaishin of the universe. It has been said that if a Kaishin dies, the Hokaishian automatically dies. This is because their life is shared. And if a god of destruction dies, his angel is sent back to the world of angels, and he will only return to that universe when another god of destruction appears. So we can conclude that if you want put on end temporarily in an angel, you just need to kill the gods of creation or destruction, then the angel would be indirectly defeated. Third form, Devil Man's Evil Beam. At the beginning, Dragon Ball was more oriented towards comedy than serious fights. There we had some very bizarre things to to be honest. Like for example, once Goku took his magic stick, stuck it in the ground, went to the moon and left his enemies there. Look how bizarre that is. Among these follies, appeared a little demon called Devil Man, who was one of the Teller Baba competitors. He was not so powerful, but he had a very powerful ability even by today's standards. This ability allows him to kill anyone who has some evil in their heart. As I said before, Dragon Ball was all about comedy, but if this attack were taken seriously these days, it would be a very problematic skill, and it would be a big problem for even the most powerful race. We saw in the series that angels are not totally pure figures. Vados herself proved in the manga that she likes a good mess. Vados on purpose created a cake with a single cherry and gave it to Bills and Champa, instead of creating two, one for each of the gods. And as there was only one cherry, it was a reason to cause a huge confusion between Bills and Champa, which resulted in the destruction of almost the entire universe. It is said by Wiss himself that Vados placed a single cherry on purpose, and that is clearly a malicious act. So we can conclude that the Devil Man's beam could kill the angels, as they possess some evil. Fourth form, Zeno's ability. We know that Zeno can erase anything and everything, he erased entire universes as if they were absolutely nothing, or even an entire timeline, like there in the Zamasu Arch. Therefore, he certainly also has the power to erase an angel if he wants to. So, there is another form to defeat an angel. Fifth form, Super Dragon Balls. The Super Dragon Balls, without a doubt, would be able to erase all the angels, and even the father of them all. If someone asks Super Shenron to erase all the angels, surely he would, as he can grant any wish. Whis himself, in the Tournament of Power, was afraid of Frieza's wish, and said that even he would be in danger depending on the request. So, there is another way to defeat an angel. Sixth form. Pot era fusion or metamora fusion of two very powerful beings. We know that fusion is an extremely overpower ability, and we can see that in the last movie when Gogeta, with his base form, dealt with Broly with some ease. And we also saw that Gogeta, when reaching the Super Scion Blue, reached such a great power to the point that Broly couldn't do anything. It is said in pamphlets, magazines, and in the movie itself by Goku that Broly could be on the level of the gods of destruction. So if Gogeta became so powerful to the point of surpassing Broly with extreme ease, that is, surpassing the gods with extreme ease, Imagine what a fusion between Bills and Jiren could do, or even Gogeta himself using the Ultra Instinct. I imagine that a fusion involving very powerful beings could even be on the same level as Whis. 
And those were the six ways to defeat an angel that I could think. But what about you? Do you know any other way that I didn't mention here? Leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to your like and subscribe to the channel to become 2000 Hakaishians. Until next time, bye bye.